Here is an animation of an ingenious press tool for cutting off the lengths of tubing. This tool also can be used for trimming the ends of drawn shells. The tool can only be used for cutting light gauged non-ferrous materials. Since the tool uses a balanced cut principle, the final cut operation produces smooth, square edges without burrs. As I stated previously, the tool operates on the balanced cut principle and as we can see the double cutter horizontal blades H and single cutter vertical blade V has two cutting edges. Since the horizontal cutter blades H and vertical cutter blade V are doing two opposing cuts, it is called a balanced cut because the cuts are made at the opposite side of the tubing simultaneously and in the different directions. The design of the tool is as follows. There is a cam groove on the cam plate P on the side of the horizontal blade H. On the horizontal blade a cam follower F is attached to the cutter, so that it works inside the cam groove to follow the cam. To get smooth cuts, the blades H and V, work in between the leaves L. The leaves open and close automatically to eject and reload new shells. Here is how this tool works. The first 90 degree rotation of the camshaft of the press the ram descends. During this time the hypotenuse of the right triangle T, the inside cam groove, pushes the cam follower F toward the workpiece. In return, this causes the blade H to advance toward the workpiece to make two crescent-shaped cuts from the top and the bottom of the shell. During this time the vertical blade V is also approaching toward the workpiece, but not reaching it yet. When the press cam rotations pass 90 degrees, the horizontal blade H abruptly withdraws to its resting place, by the tension spring shown in the animation. Following the rest of the press cam rotation, the horizontal blade H will stay in its resting place and will not do anything. However, during the next 90 degree rotation of the press cam, the vertical blade V will continue to descend, and make two opposing cuts from the workpiece. We can see the location of these cuts on the shell, by looking the picture of the shell after the horizontal blade has done its job. As you can see in the animation, we can see the cuts made by the descending vertical cutter V. When the vertical blade V reaches the lowest point in its descent, it begins to ascend the next 180 degrees. During this time the horizontal blade stays in its resting place. And after reloading the new part, the cycle repeats. The advantages of a balanced cut are many. In using principle, no appreciable burrs can be formed on the inside edge of the shell, and the close-fitted blades in the slot between the holding blocks F prevent burrs forming on the outside edges. In other words, this is an inside cut performed by outside cutters. Thank you for watching our videos.